Hey everyone, it's Jenna Melanson from Canadian Beats Media. Today I'm joined by Mike Marvin of the Los Angeles folk pop group, the Kingston Trio, for our Stanfest edition of Zoomies. Welcome, Mike. Nice to be here. It's nice to have you here. So first off, care to introduce the Kingston Trio to our readers? Sure, the Kingston Trio is a folk group originated in San Francisco in the late 1950s became the most successful band in the world until the Beatles. Um, some of the Kingston Trio records were only surpassed by Beyonce in the last couple of years. I mean, the Kingston Trio was, like I say, the large, the most popular band in the world from about 1958 to 1964. And since then, the Kingston Trio has played all over the world. And, you know, we've done something like 3,000 or 4,000 concerts. So we've, we've played a lot and yes. played for millions of people, probably 20 million people. Wow. Yeah. So tell us a bit about your latest release. Latest release is uh, called Long Train of Dreams. It's, it's basically, uh, we took uh, 11 of John Stewart, we took... We recorded 11 songs, nine of which were John Stewart classics. And uh, the hardcore fans know who John Stewart was. He was a member of the Kingston Trio for seven years. He wrote these songs, they're beautiful songs. One of the one of the most important things we look at in a song is how it feels, how it makes you feel, what's the storytelling elements, et cetera. And John Stewart. John Stewart is actually quite popular in Canada for a long time, too. And um so that's it. Long Train of Dreams. One of our songs has taken off. It's called Armstrong. You can see it on the internet. It's pretty cool. Hey, great. So you're playing Stan Rogers Folk Festival this year. Yes. Is this your first time playing at this festival? It is. I think it we're is. closing out the festival on Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anyone in particular you're excited to check out while you're there? Well, this is a, one of the rare times w where we've invited family to come on tour with us, uh, okay. flying and meeting us in Halifax. All of us are excited to be in Newfoundland and Nova Scotia, Canada in general. Uh, we've always had great success in Canada. It's always really been fun. Uh, Canadian audience has been just opened up their arms to us. So, um, And none of us have been to Nova Scotia. Okay. So. So it's all been quite exciting. Well, for sure. Yeah. For someone who has never seen the trio perform, yes. describe your performance in three words. Fun, compelling, funny. Okay. Um, do you have any other upcoming shows or festivals in, the, in Canada? We have another show in St. John's uh, the following week. Okay. Yeah. Is we it? Just have two on the, we just have two on this tour. Okay. The following week, is that for George Street? Uh, no, it's for uh, pr a promoter, a friend, producer, a friend of ours, David Carver, who uh, put okay. it all together. Okay, he awesome. does the Eagles and a few groups like that. Okay. So the next five questions are just for fun. Okay. What was the first festival you ever attended as a fan? Uh, the first festival I ever attended as a fan was in Reno, Nevada, about 1970. Went to see um, It's a Beautiful Day. Okay. On Saturday, July 22nd, there will be a tribute to Gordon Lightfoot at Stanfest. Right. So I have to ask, what's your favorite Gordon Lightfoot song? Oh, boy. Well, first of all, Gordon Lightfoot is one of my heroes. Uh, I'm really sorry he's no longer with us. I was I was so looking forward to seeing him on this trip. Um, yeah. But my favorite songs um, are the ones that everybody loves. Edmund Fitzgerald, um, you know, I, we do his we do a few of his songs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's we hard love, to choose we one. Love him. We mm -hmm. love We love his music. There's a huge variety of food and drink vendors on the grounds at Stanfest. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite festival food or beverage to enjoy? I like a beer here now and then. 
but I've always tended to like the desserts. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I mean, we went to the strawberry festival in Florida or 50, 80,000 people and and uh, the strawberries were, it was one of the great ones. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> if you were to create your own festival lineup, yes. which four bands or artists would you want to play along with you? Eagles, Crosby, Stills and Nash. Mm -hmm. um, boy, that's such a tough question. Wouldn't mind doing it with Paul McCartney. Uh, <laughs> and uh, let's see, number four would be, wouldn't mind doing a show with Joni Baez. I think you'd be selling some tickets. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so as we know, festivals are a great part of summer, but yes. what else do you love to do during the summer months? I've always liked to travel. Mm -hmm. I've liked to travel. I've, I've always loved going to Paris in the, spring uh spent a lot of time in uh, the far east japan um china and uh not china but hong kong and macau and and okay. sometimes i've gone to thailand with my uh, family a few times it's been fun sounds fun are you traveling anywhere this year or just to to like nova scotia <laughs> the, nova scotia is the main trip i have a uh I'm going on a, a journey next April from uh, Los, uh, from Florida to Los Angeles via the Panama Canal. Okay. That sounds exciting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for our StanFest edition of Zoomies. Thanks for joining me and have a great time at the festival. Thank you so much. You have a nice day.